Okay, this video is going to be sort of an edit from a previous video. In the previous video, I think at the end I said that we weren't going to be doing facing pages for Project 4. Um, after considering that a little bit, um, I decided facing pages would be better. The reason is we can export your three drafts and the ticket as one single PDF. If you created multiple files, one for your first draft, second draft, third draft, and, and so forth, you'd end up having to have three PDFs and you cannot link in the discussion board, you cannot link more than one document. So I just wanted to note that the regular video is gonna continue um, showing you how to set up the document, this document. Okay, this video is going to be about how to set up your InDesign file for project number four. All right, once InDesign is open, go ahead and create a new document. Go ahead and click on print. Change the unit of measurements to inches. For the requirements for project number four, the width of our invites will be five inches by seven inches. You're gonna leave it at portrait. You can leave it at facing pages and change the number of pages to seven. Margins, you can decrease the margins to about a quarter inch, giving yourself some safety margin from the edge of the paper. You don't want your type too close to the edge potentially it would get cut off during the print process and trimming. You want to make sure that you have bleed in case you want to have color go edge to edge on your document. So I'll go ahead and put the default bleed amount, which is 1.25 on all the edges, and I'll create. Okay, so if we're looking at the page palette here, we've got page one and two for the front of your first draft, the back of your first draft, the front of the second draft, the back of the second draft, the front of the third, third draft, and the back of the third draft. We'll leave this page for the ticket, but if we just try to move it down here, all the pages are just going to shift. Okay, if you select them and try to move them, they're just going to shift around. And if we want this page on the bottom, we're going to have to uh, uh, change something. So what I'd like you to do is in the flyout menu, click on it, and then allow document pages to shift. When you do that, you can actually delete that page. Okay, and now you've got draft one, draft two, draft three. For the first critique, you just need to have your three drafts for critique one. For the second critique, you also need to include at least one ticket design. So for the second critique, you're gonna refine whatever was your best idea from the first critique, and you're gonna give us three more options based on that idea. And then you're also gonna do a ticket design based on what you feel is your best design at that point. So we're gonna go ahead and add another document. Oops, and that one moved it to there. So I'm, let, me, let me talk about that a second. InDesign will actually add a document after the one you had selected. And since my cursor was right here, it added it right here. And I actually want it down here. So I'm gonna select this one and then add. Okay, and I can actually shift that one over. Come on, move. There we go. Um, you have to be careful when you do that. You, you see that little black arrow? You have to make sure that that's visible before you do that. There we go. All right, now to change this document size, what I need to do is open up the um, page tool. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. That should open up your properties palette and it looks like my properties palette is closed right now. So I'll go window, properties, okay, and there it is. 
Um, also, if you're in the same view I am, you can always change the view to window, workspace, and oops, workspace, and essential classic if you're feeling more comfortable in that. Basically, the property palette is doing the same thing that's up here. All right, so I guess I closed my pages. My pages again. All right, taking a look at the page palette, these sizes right now are five by seven, five by seven, five by seven. This, which is gonna be the ticket design, actually needs to be three by five. Um, I guess it was maybe three or four years ago, InDesign added an, a feature where you could change page sizes within a document, and that used to never be the case. Anyway, you need to select which page you want to change the size. This is the one I want to change. I'm going to move this out of the way. I got that whole palette in the way now. All right. So in the properties palette, I can come down here and it's based on page seven. And I, what I want to do is change the page size to three by five. Okay. And notice in the page layout, now I've got a smaller document. If I want to duplicate that, I can always drag that to the new um, page icon and I can duplicate it. That's in case you want to do three ticket designs. All right, for the final, what you're going to end up doing is just deleting um, everything but your final. So after you've got them all designed and maybe you decide this layout is your best one, you can just come in here and you can delete the pages that you don't want. Maybe you'll, oops, got in the way again. Selecting this one and I'm hitting delete. Okay, so the, for the final, I only want you to submit your final invite, front and back, and your ticket design.